Hi guys. So today we're in Kilnanor Cemetery, in which are buried many of those who fell at the Battle of Arklow, 1798. And uh, a friend of mine, Owen, had posted photos of this cemetery. And uh, what I've seen is absolutely beautiful designed headstones. Now it is a little bit windy, so I hope the audio is okay. And uh, we're just walking up the path here now to the cemetery. And uh, when we're in, I'll get back to you. Right guys, so this is what we're looking at. Um, there has been a lot of work done to the area. Um, a lot of cleaning up has been done. Uh, we have some trees that have been cut down as well. The grass has been cleared. So we'll have a look and uh, pick out a few of the headstones of interest. There's a huge high cross here right in the, the middle of the cemetery. In memory of John Kinsler, who was foully slain in defence of home and country by the bullets of the Property Defence Association on the 28th of September 1887 in the 64th year of his age and it was erected by the men of Wicklow and Wexford as a testimony of their respect for him, many Christian virtues and as an indignant protest against the cruelty and the injustice of those who before God are guilty of his innocent blood. Wow. So John Kinsler, who lost his life defending home and country. And as I said, there are some beautiful headstones here. Look at this. We have the crucifixion. We have, it looks like the sun, sacred heart. Here lie at the body of John Kin Flay, maybe, who departed this life the 17th of October, 1803, age 64. Also his son, Lawrence. And uh, I'm just going to keep wandering around. There's another beautiful one, actually, just here. Look at this. This is amazing. You can see the whole story of the crucifixion here. The horse. The man on top of the horse, the soldier with a spear, and D. Cullen. That's the stonemason, the man who made it. Here lieth the body of Nicholas Boland, who departed this life, 1778, just there, age 61. And we have a 1754 right beside him. And you can see the tools there, the hammer, the pliers. Absolutely amazing. Oops, we have another amazing headstone just over here. I'm just finding these scattered around. Wow, look at this one. I can see so many just around this area. The crucifixion again here. The sun and the moon, life and death. The serpent at his feet, J. Byrne, the man who made this headstone, 1795. Here lies the body of Margaret Byrne. Um, she was 51 when she died also. Her daughter, Bridget, 1794, age 21. Also her daughter Joan, 1795. 
aged 18. So another fantastic headstone there. And look at this one. It's slightly leaning forward all right, but we can plainly see these beautiful designs. Look at that. The soldier. We have a building there. Another soldier there. Our Lord. The horse. Just look at that. It says here lies the body of Rose. Uh, not sure of the surname. Could be Mulligan. Who passed this life. I think it says 1767. Aged 35 I believe. Just look at that. And the designs, the whole, the whole headstone has a beautiful design. And we have Dennis Cullen just there, the maker's name. Look at the designs, absolutely gorgeous. We have angels on this one. Here and here, here lieth the body of Thomas Kelly, who departed this life, 1783, aged just 16. The Lord have mercy on his soul. So this is like a treasure trove of uh, some amazing headstones. Look at that. Wow. This is, I think it's Mary Kavna maybe. Uh, 17, down at the bottom there. 1741 I believe. And her age then, 36. Wow. How amazing are those? And there's just so many here. So I think we'll try and make our way up along here and then, <coughs> excuse me, turn around and come back. This looks like Claire Gertine, August 1946, age 77. And she's at rest under that beautiful tree. Her light body of Michael. Hemel, maybe, I'm not quite sure. 1777. Might see that better in edit. Maybe it's Pemol. And there's 1777, and he was just 21. Also, Elizabeth, 1777, age 54. And the wind is getting up. I'm just going to try and move my mic a little bit. That might make it a little bit easier to hear me. Another beautiful one. We have angels on this one. Here lieth the body of Elizabeth Hemrose. November 1780, age 22. Lord have mercy on her soul. Amen. So only 22. So we have a lot of young here. See there's tombs. Another story of the crucifixion here. This looks like Daniel Kavna, 1793, age 73. Actually, I think it's 17, no, it is 1793. I thought it might be 1723, but I think it's 93, age 73. Once again, the story of the crucifixion. 
Now, I kind of walked past this one, but I'm going to come back to it. We have the moss all on the top of it. Just look at that. We have pieces of silver, all the tools, the hammer, pliers, we have nails, we have our Lord on the cross. And it says, here lieth the body of Sarah Fitzwilliam, I'd imagine it is, um, who departed this life, March 1786. And her age is just here, age 21 or 25, I think it's 25. Lord have mercy on her. Look at that. That is quite amazing. Do we have a maker name on it? I don't see one. Just look at that for detail. And that there is the the coins or the silver I should say. And the whole story of the crucifixion of our Lord there in stone. So I can just imagine how overgrown this place was. I mean, there's a uh, underfoot, there's brambles, twigs, they're still kind of sticking out of the ground. We have uh, trees that they have uh, just there. You can see they have taken them completely down. So whoever uh, went in here to clear this, they have done an amazing job because there is such history in here. So many lives lost and fell during that 1798 rebellion. We have one little one just up here. I don't see anything on it but standing all on its own, covered in moss and lichen, too hard to read. Now I see markers here. I actually see, wow, there's a lot of markers. There's a lot of burial mounds with those markers. And as I said, you could spend hours just here reading them all, but we just don't have the time. And uh, it's important to kind of pick out a few of them this is Thomas. He was 20 when he passed in 1822. More designs on that one there. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. But uh, just being mindful of where I step. Because there are plenty of burial mounds around the area. Just so many headstones. There is another burial mound. Let's have a look along here. It's a huge headstone. Um, erected by James, maybe or June Boland for Mary Boland. March 1871, possibly. Aged 43. You can see more of those mounds there. Lovely tabletop tomb with the Lamb of God in the centre. Michael Kavna, age 30, April 1871. Another one here. You can see that the trees have been Cut back. Wow, look at this one. This is 1803. Dennis Mooney, possibly. 1803, age 60. Look at that. Sun, the moon. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's getting quite windy and the rain is starting to come. Which is such a pity because I'd have liked to have stead longer 
another beautiful one here. Here lies the body of Daniel Green, who departed August the 29th, 1778, age 70. Also his wife Alice Green departed this life, August 1782, possibly age 60. Lord have mercy on their souls. Amen. And look at that, more designs on those headstones. All hand carved works of art. A huge tomb here. Nothing left on it, unfortunately. We just have so many. Seventeen sixty three on this one. Anne Kelly, seventeen sixty three, age twenty three, and beside Anne, here lieth the body of William O'Neill. He was only thirty two when he passed in seventeen sixty three, and even here you can still see some of the details remaining. Right guys, so we've just been trying to look around and we've also found this one here. Now here you can see dice with the hammer, a nail, ladder, the crucifixion, the soldier, the serpent. This is amazing. Here lieth the body of Sarah, so possibly Sarah Byrne, who departed this life, 1761, aged 25. So she passed the 19th of June, 1761, aged 25. I just want to show you again. Look at that. How amazing. And... Uh, I'm trying to see if the, there's a name on it, but I think it's safe to say this is a, one done by um, a Dennis Cullen. Absolutely fantastic. Now, so I'm going to bring you back down along. Here we have found a few more and what I'm actually seeing as well is a lot of um, sheep droppings or maybe goat droppings and their little footprints. A lot of people have said that the overgrown ones, they should put um, sheep or, or goats into it. So I don't know whether they've had them in it and they've taken them out recently or uh, it's kind of an ongoing, an ongoing thing. Now we've some more... I believe just down here with loads of those little tiny markers along here look at that loads and loads and loads of them the area is really really nice really really nice some huge trees look at that Now, here's another beautiful one. Here lieth the body of Dominic Toole, who departed this life. February 1762, age 72. Also, um, Fanny Toole, who departed this life. February 1763, age 36. some of the, them leaning dangerously forward really but more fantastic designs look at that we've all of it's like it's Jerusalem here ladder soldiers that to me looks like it's maybe Mary the crucifixion another temple here lies the body of 
it looks like is it Tadius or Tady maybe not quite sure Kavanagh 1795 aged 86 so great age there more designs on this one quite hard to see it though and we've 1823 age 75 and this is um is it james maybe or no hold on mary walsh 1823 age 73 look at this and look at even the writing on this one is absolutely stunning Wow, we're missing part of it here, which is a shame. We have a beautiful angel, another angel here, the serpent. It looks like there was, oh, look at that. Our Lord, we have then the soldier, the ladder, the spear. And look at that for writing. Here lieth the body of Patrick Rogers, who departed this life. 19th of July, 1765, age 63. Lord have mercy on his soul and children, Philip, Lucy and Francis Rogers. Wow, just look at that. Imagine carving that in by hand. Absolutely stunning. So beautiful. Look at this. Another, another beautiful one. The writing, it's almost, it's sunk into the ground. We have a cross up here. Very hard to read. The date has now gone right down into the ground. It looks like, I was going to say Matthew, but I don't think it is. Very hard to read that one. But there's just so many in here. Another one with the crucifixion there on it. Seventeen sixty three on this one. Seventeen sixty three, thirty two year old William O'Neill and Anne Kelly. She was only twenty three. She passed in seventeen sixty three. is quite amazing as I said they've come in they've cleared this area there is signs of sheep or goats uh, that have come in here I'd say as well to try and keep everything down look at those for rails Kavna 1934 with some more beautiful designs just here, 1766, here lie at the body of uh, is it Dorothy Kavna, aged 89, great age. More fantastic um, carvings there, absolutely fantastic. This place is like, I don't know, it's history anyway, but it's like um, some of these are pieces of art you can see where they have uh, tried to take away some of that tree there it obviously has fallen at some stage on headstones another gorgeous one here body of Lawrence and his children also three of his children 1823 it looks like with a headstone even just under there and you can see that when Part of a tree falls, it's, you know, it's, it's very destructive. Look at this one. It's completely broken. Alice Ward, no date left on it. Another one beside her, completely broken. That's the tree that has. Imagine it's just from that one. We've had such bad weather, wind-wise. 
and it's probably come down. There's just so many here, but it's amazing to see that somebody, and I mean, there must have been an awful amount of work done here. I'd imagine this place was really, really overgrown. And, uh, you know, it's thanks to communities and people that are helping to bring back all of these beautiful headstones. 1796 more and I mean they're just amazing I think we've already read this one the, them designs just even at the, the top how much work were they 1783 with the angels 1783 Thomas Kelly And then obviously with the the newer ones, look at this. This one has completely come up out of the ground there. We would have had designs on this one as well. It's like a ladder. I'd imagine there's something else there. We won't be able to read it, I don't think. Actually there's a 1777 there. As I said, Owen had posted photos up on social media and uh, I've been chatting back and forth to Owen and I'm hoping to meet Owen at some stage because he has great knowledge of the 1798 rebellion and uh, the headstones and the, you know, the people that have made the headstones years ago. This one is actually wrote on this side. Here lies the body of looks like Patrick Cairn no it does look like K-E-R-A very hard to read October 1730 guys just there is his age there age doesn't say his age there's also somebody else February 1739 I don't see ages on that one but that's kind of like a looks like a slate material but anyway guys another amazing walk through history and all these people are not forgotten and uh with that being said, take care guys, God bless, and I'll talk to you soon.